What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Don't hug me, I'm scared from the This Is It Collective is in itself fabulously creative and weird. But it brings up the question, what exactly is creativity? It's a trickier question than you might think. First of all, let's get the right brain, left brain myth out of the way. In the past, scientists believed the right side of the brain handled all the creative thinking while the left handled all the boring stuff. In true star belly Nietzsche style, the idea divided all of us into left or right brained individuals. The brain scans show a different story, revealing that both sides of the brain engage in problem solving and creative thinking. Now, there are a number of different ways to think about creativity. There's the cognitive view that it's all a matter of data processing. A robot could do it. While the Freudians believe it all originates in the subconscious mind bubbling up from the daydreams and dreams we generate as we flee from suffering. Behaviorals view creativity as a spontaneous collision of previously known knowledge, while the intrinsic motivational view argues that it's all about engaging in an activity you love. And the developmental view holds that the majority of creative behavior exists in younger life and declines with the passage of time. You need it when you're young in order to learn and socialize before you get old and boring. But what does the science tell us? For starters, inhibition is the killjoy of creativity. Researcher Charles Lim used an fMRI machine and a specially designed keyboard to look at the brain activity of musicians caught in the creative act. And what do you think he found? Well, various parts of the brain lit up for the musician, including the areas associated with self-reflection, introspection, working memory, all the building blocks of consciousness. But while the self-expressive areas surged with activity, the parts of the brain associated with judgment faded to black. See, you enter a state of mind where you're less afraid of making mistakes or looking foolish, and you're more concerned with creating something beautiful. And that's where our good old friend dopamine enters the picture. Dopamine plays an important role in motor control, motivation, arousal cognition, and reward. Studies have shown that an individual's creative drive depends on the activity of the dopamine pathways of the limbic system. As such, creative people are more responsive to sensory stimulation, have higher baseline levels of arousal, and increased goal-directed behavior. Now how do you think creatively? Well, here are a few suggestions that don't involve spelling your favorite color with a bunch of sticks. First, seek out new places and new experiences to stimulate your cognitive processes. Learn new things every day, read when you can, and when you do engage in a little screen time, steer away from the reality programs. Don't be afraid to ask troubling questions about your worldview or even yourself. So there you go, creativity. Now, when we want to get creative, uh, we each have our own methods as well. Me, I like to uh, stare at a light bulb. Not a lit light bulb, just a, a dead light bulb. I, I prefer pictures of nuns strolling in parks. That's what gets me feeling all creative. What about you guys? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.